What's up guys and welcome to the channel. A few weeks ago I went over how to find a model through Instagram and social media and a couple days ago I had a model reach out to me. We were able to go through a couple outfits, uh, lighting setups, etc. And when she got here she was telling me that she had just kind of transitioned into the modeling world. Um, she took a couple classes on posing but as we started shooting we got to talking and uh, I figured it was a good time to maybe go over how to pose a model when you actually get to shoot. For this shoot we used two separate lighting setups. The first being an octabox is the key light, set high into the 45 of my model with a flashpoint 400 on the backdrop. The second setup was easy, it was just a one light setup with a beauty dish, set high and center. Camera gear was an a7 III, a 55 millimeter lens, and a 90 millimeter lens. All right, so you found your model and it's time to shoot. Like everything else in life, there's a spectrum. You may have a great model who's able to move from shot to shot, or you may have a friend or family member who's like posing a block of wood. Like this? Yeah, yeah, that, that looks awesome. Either way, for you as a new photographer, it's important that your composition is great. If you're working with experienced models regularly, then this video is probably not really for you. But if you're a new photographer just starting out, then stick around, I'm gonna go over a few tips that may help you out. Recently, I was contacted through Instagram by a model and we set up a shoot date. When she got here, she expressed that she was kind of new to the photography world, but she had taken a few classes on posing, um, so she kind of knew what she was doing. But she did mention that one of her struggling points was her facial expressions. So tip number one for today is loosen up. When you start shooting as a new photographer or even with a new model, things can get a little stiff. We've all been there. You meet up, you really don't know what to talk about, and you're trying to find common ground. So my best advice is kind of get to know each other a little bit first. Maybe what you like to do outside of photography and find some common ground. By all means, shoot along the way, but this helps you get a little bit more comfortable with one another. The interaction may help make the newer model a little less rigid and allow you to capture something that's a little bit more natural. My next tip would be to introduce a prop. Now this doesn't have to be an actual prop, like a toy sword or something like that. It can be an article of clothing. So for this past shoot with Emily, we had a jacket. We were able to move that from side to side, move it over the shoulder, zip it up, zip it down, and move it in different ways. Not only does this allow your model to move a little bit more naturally, but it also eliminates the what do I do with my hands issue. And this doesn't have to be a jacket or an article of clothing. If you're shooting on location and there's steps nearby, it can be the hand railing. Have the model walk up and down the steps. Anything that allows the model to use their hands will be considered a prop in this scenario. Okay, so we've taken a few shots, we're loosened up, we've used our props, now what? Well, tip number three would be to review those shots. The screen on the back of your camera is not just for you, it's for the model as well. And if you're working with someone who's a little bit more new, they may want to see what's going on. If you're reviewing the shots, you can show them their hand placement, your composition. If they think you're shooting their whole body, but you're only shooting from shoulders up for a headshot, let them know. Then they're not as worried about what's going on from the waist down. The screen on the back is a useful tool and I use it a lot. Okay, moving right along. So you're reviewing on the back of the screen, but they're not quite understanding. Well, now it's time to show them what you want. And this is tip number four. So let's say you have your model leaning up against the wall, but they're just not hitting it just right. Do it yourself. Maybe you're not gonna hit it just right, but you can show them exactly how you want them to lean, how you want them to turn their body, and things like that. Don't give broad generalizations, but show them exactly how you want them to turn. As we talked about earlier in this video, working with an experienced model, they know how to pose, they know where to put their hands, and you're just kind of pressing the button and then tweaking things as you go. But working with someone newer, they might want that direction. So to summarize, first thing we wanna do is loosen up. Once we're loose, we introduce some props to work with. After we've taken a few images, we show the shots. And if we're not quite getting what we want, we show them what we want. And if you found these tips useful, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. 